In this video, we will talk about the process flows. I mentioned earlier that a common practice for developing a process framework is to identify the major activities that is applicable for any software application domains, regardless of its sizes and complexity. And the generic activities are communication, planning, modeling, construction, and deployment. This time, we would like to describe how these framework activities and their related actions and tasks are organized with respect to sequence and time. We refer to this as the process flow. Remember also that I mentioned earlier that the software process is not a rigid prescription that should be followed by the software development team. In effect, the team is given a freedom to work around with the activities depending on the nature of the project. One way to do so is to choose the appropriate process flow. Let us look at the common process flow employed by software development teams. One of the process flows is the linear process flow. In this process flow, each activity is executed in a linear or sequential manner, one after another. This means that before any actions can take place in the modeling activity, all the planning tasks and work products must be accomplished or completed first. Another process flow is iterative. In this process flow, some activities are repeated or some tasks are done in any iteration before proceeding to another activity. We also have the evolutionary process flow, where each activity is executed in a circular manner. Each evolution of the five activities produces a working product, but a complete version of the software is produced after several evolutions. That is why it's called um, evolutionary because, again, it is circular. And finally, we have the parallel process flow. In order to save time, some activities are executed in parallel with other activities, such as in the example in the, um, in the slide, modeling is conducted in parallel to communication and planning. This means that given some small amounts of information of the communication activity, models can already be created. Similarly, with preliminary designs, the software constructions can already be started.